Yes guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and today welcome to episode 4 of the Scottish Premier League Talk series and today, today's a bit of a different one. We've got some questions to answer and I'm going to do some expectations for some SPF at SPL clubs and including some clubs like Dunfermline, Rafe Rovers, Hamilton, Kilmarnock and just to name a few. So you guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's um, video. First, make sure you like, subscribe, get notifications on so you don't miss any content across the SPL or the whole SPFL in the near future. So yeah, so, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So the first question is from Jacob, and he asks, can Rangers win the SPFL once again, the SPL once again? Yes. I think Rangers, yet, yes, yet again, I think Rangers, for me, will win the league again. But I think... Um, I think Rangers will do it again. I know many people... And to be fair, though... And to be fair, many people have been backing Rangers this year to win the league. And, and, I, and I actually also one of them people. Pe people who are backing Rangers to win the SPL once again. So yeah, thank you, Jacob, for the question. And the next question is from Zach Taminski, top lad. Um, always do streams with him on Twitch. And he asks, who's going up to the Premiership, to the Premier League? By the way, guys, I'm calling it the Premier League, not the Premiership. But is but the actual question was, who's going to go up to the Premiership? Oh, that's hard. Because um, um, I think... I think for me, um, oh, that's such a hard one. I, um, I'm the teams who I think in contention are Partick Thistle, Inverness, Cali Thistle, um, Dunfermline, Rafe Rovers, and Dun and Kilmarnock. So I'm I'm going to exclude Inverness and Partick. So is is out, really out of Dunfermline, Rafe, Rafe Rovers, or. Um, oh, Kilmarnock. For me, Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock will go up via automatics and win, will win the league. But I think Dunfermline will beat, will win the playoffs, the relegation playoffs, so they get promoted and send the 11th team from the Premier League down. So, yeah, thank you, Zach, for the question. And we've got a question here from Harry M2745. What a legend this lad is. And he asks, SPFL predictions. Oh, I should have made a video about this yesterday. But, here, but here's my predictions for the Prem. I think bottom will be Ross County. For me, two, of course, two of their... Some two of their like, good players have gone to rivals in Vanessa, Cali Fissle. So... For me, Ross County, they will struggle badly this year. And many people are back up. I think they're Bucky's favourites to go down. And so, yeah, Ross County 12. 11th, I'm going to go with... Oh, I'm going to go with Dundee. I'm going to go with Dundee. Um, I'm bad, Sorry, Hammy, if you're watching this. But I'm, but I'm being honest here. I can not, Dundee will struggle. I can tell you now, Dundee will struggle this year. But, but if they somehow do stay up... That's a big, big achievement for them. The main goal for Dundee is, is not to get European football every year. It's to either stay in the league or compete with Dundee United to fight for top six. And that is their, their goal, Dundee. And, of course, they do have Dundee United coming up as well. And, of course, their opening game on their return to the league, is, which is against, um, say, Mirren at Dens Park. So, yeah, Dundee 11th, 10th place. I've got to go with Livingston. I know they finished top six in the past two years, but I think they'll fall away this year. This year for me. Ninth place, I'm going to go with Motherwell. And Motherwell, what's happened to them? Like, I thought Motherwell would be that team who would get, like, um, top four. But they've fallen away, Motherwell. And I think Motherwell will come ninth. Eighth will be St. Mirren. And now St. Mirren, I know, now people's favourites to them, for them to get top six. And, um... And I'm not backing them to get top six. I think they'll get eighth. But they, I think they'll just miss out on top six. Seventh place. This team will just, just miss out on top six. And that team 
will be Dundee United. I think Dundee United. I think Dundee United. For me, they'll fight. They'll be that team who right, who could be like dark horse this year. Dark horses this year. But I'll answer. But I'll get into the other question in a minute. Um, but yeah, I think Dundee United will come seventh. Sixth will be Hearts. Well, I know many people have not been backing. Not have not been positive with Hearts. To be honest, and and I'm and I'm backing Hearts to get top six. Um, so yeah, Hearts, sixth, fifth place. Now this team will be such a massive dark horse, and that team will be St Johnston. I think St Johnston will get top six. Oh, it's raining. Damn it. Oh, darn it. So yeah, sixth will be St Johnston. No, no, not sixth. Fifth will be St Johnston. St. Johnston, um, because they, 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 of course, obviously last year, they obviously did win the cup double, didn't they? Like, winning the Scottish League Cup and the Scottish Cup. Um, so, yeah, St. Johnston will be fifth, fourth will be Aberdeen, but it will be so tight between St. Johnston and Aberdeen for fourth, for fourth this year. Um, but, yeah, Aberdeen will be fourth. A third will be the same top three as last year. Third will be Hibs. I think they have another brilliant season, Hibs, Hibernian, and um, yeah, and of course they got Kevin Nisbet as well. They got Kevin Nisbet, and they get they they kept all of their star players, Hibs, and um, so yeah, obviously the top two will be the old firm. I think Celtic will come second. And I think Rangers, once again, will win the league. And, of course, championship. And I think Kilmarnock will win the league. Will win the league. Um, but I'm going to do winners for the other three leagues. Kilmarnock will win, le will win the championship. Falkirk to win League One. And I think... Oh, I ain't sure with League Two. I ain't sure with League Two, to be honest. Um, I might. I'm gonna s probably. I might say Kelly. I'm gonna say Kelly Hearts. You know, I d I don't know any other team in League. I know they know the clubs in League Two, but I just can't. I don't. But I don't know who's gonna win the league. But I think Kelly Hearts for me will be the champions of League what of League Two, a team on the rise. And the final question is from Ben Mead, BCFC, or Roberts on tour. Link in, the link in the description. And he asks, who will be the flop of the season and who will be dark horse of this season? The flop of the season will be Motherwell. Um, I just generally think Motherwell will just flop again this year. Um, um, so, yeah... Um, that's the flop, and now move on to Dark Horse, and now, and now, this team who I actually mentioned before, St. Johnston, they're right up there, but you got, you got to look at it as well, you've got teams like Queen's Park, like Queen's Park, for instance, you've got Queen's Park, um, Cow and Beef, um, Livingston maybe as well, um, um, uh, United, uh, United as well, but I think, I'm going to say, say Johnston and Queen's Park, to be dark horses, because I think for me, Queen's Park, they know what they can do in the lower league, because they've got that experience, because I remember, right, in 2012, obviously, when they did play Rangers at Hamden in the 3rd Division, which is now League 2, um, they only lost 1-0 to Rangers, and that ain't that bad result. But, but if they would have got, if they, if they would have kept that 0-0, that would have been brilliant. In fact, Queen's Park have been dark horses for years. Um, um, but yeah, but say Johnson, um, I, of course, obviously, they did win the Cup double, and they could do well in Europe as well, they could do well in Europe, but St. Johnson's main focus will be the league, I think, because I think Europe will, I think Europe will fall, make them fall away, but to be fair, you never know, they could do well in Europe this year, St. John, St. Johnston, um, um, 
but yeah, but the flop. Oh, I'm actually going to say Celtic as well, because. Um, but yeah, I'm going to speak about Celtic in a minute. Um, but yeah, thank you, Ben, for that question, and that that was a really in, that was an interesting one. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I'll just speak about Celtic, and um, many people have been not been backing Celtic this year to do well. Well, they will because they'll they'll finish behind Rangers again. But the thing is, right, no team can't split the old firm, except if one team say like, Rangers, for example, again, we'll be in a financial situation, uh, big bound for Champions League, and one team takes their Champions League spot for them. I think that kind of counts. But that kind of counts. But I just, I mean, like positions in the league. That, that's what I'm on about. But Celtic, though, um, there's not been many positive news around Celtic. Of course, Edward has been linked with Brighton, and if, and if he goes, Celtic need a goal scorer. If Celtic, Celtic, Edward is their main goal scorer. But, but if if Celtic lose him, they don't have that. Um. um but yeah, obviously they did lose last night to Michelin in the um, Champions League. Um, yeah, he checked it. But the, the support on that video was mad. It's like nearly got 130 views now, nearly like a day. Um, it's brilliant, so I thank you all for that. But so the next Celtic video will be tomorrow for a full-time reaction for the Hearts game. So, for the Hearts game. So, stay tuned for so much content coming up tomorrow. Because the match day vlog as well for Bolton against Blackburn. But... The problem we're gonna have with the Rangers Livingston full time reaction is um is um I have to do it while I'm in the car. Um just to, I'll just do like a little update. Um the Rangers Livingston full time reaction will be either on the way home from the ground, so then I can do all the usual stuff and then ed edit the vlog edit the vlog. Um obviously the vlog ain't gonna be all in one video. Uh, it will it be in one video but like separate clips, but you know, you yeah, obviously, you know, th that's the type of lot, but, um, but yeah, um, but yeah, um, so yeah, so yeah, but the Hearts full-time reaction will be in this, will be here at, at my house, don't worry about that, uh, but the vlog will be out after the full-time reaction for the Rangers Livingston game after getting edited and stuff like that, um, um, but yeah, um, but yeah, um, now we move on to expectations for some teams. And now I think now I'm going to start off with Rangers. Their expectations is to win the league, and then um, they will win the league this year. I, I, I know what, I, to be fair, I've been mentioning Rangers more t more in, in this video than any other team, really. Um, um, but yeah, Rangers' expectations to, to, is to win the league. Um, Kilmarnock, Don Furbans and Rave Rovers' expectations are to get promotion back to the Premier League, to the Premier League, and uh, of course Rave Rovers haven't been in it since nineteen ninety six and nineteen ninety seven, and that's a little fat for you if you didn't knew this. Rave Rovers, right? They were last in it. They were they 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 were they were in the they were in the top flight in the nineteen ninety six nineteen ninety seven season, but then what happened? They got relegated back to the championship, which was now the, which was the first division, <laughs> the Scottish first division, <laughs> um, and uh, um, so yeah. But but them three's expectations is to get to pro is get promotion. Same with um, same with um, Inverness and Partick, Partick Thistle, Inverness, Cali Thistle and Partick Thistle. But I just don't think for me them two will have that have enough like quality in their squads compared to. Um, Don Furman, and Rafe and um, Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock, in my opinion. Um, uh, of course, Cove Rangers as well. I'm going to speak about them in a minute. I'm going to speak about them now. Um, they, I never thought they would be favourites to go up. And I thought they were that team who would be favourites to... <whistles> like, you know, like, go down to back to League 2 or the, like, the Lone League. Or the Harden League, whatever, whatever, whatever league they were like last in, uh, before League Two and League One, um, but mate, mate, they've been quality over the past like over the past like last season. They were so good, and uh, this season they could be even better. But I think I think the three favourites to go up are Queens Park, Falkirk, and Cove Rangers. But I think Falkirk will go up by winning the league, and one of Queens Park or Cove Rangers to go up through the playoffs. 
Um, but that's the same with Don Furman and Rafe in the championship. Well, Kilmarnock will win the league, but it will be tight because them three teams have got this the experience in the, in this division. Well, obviously Kilmarnock haven't been in it for a long time, but Don Furman and Rafe got more, more, got more and more experience than than Kilmarnock has because they've much they've been in the Premier League throughout their history, really. Kilmarnock. Um, um, but yeah, League Two though. Um, I ain't sure. That, I think trying like all the teams' expectations to get promotion really. Um, uh, but yeah. Um, and right now I'm gonna speak about out some of the derbies. I'm gonna start off with the um five derby between Dunfermline and Rafe. And now this game will be interesting. Will be interesting this year. Um, because I think one of them. T- I think whoever wins this this game. One of them will go up for the playoffs. But I'm backing Dunfermline to win two and then Rafe to win two. So that because there's four dar- there's four games between e- each season between two two clubs, right? And um I think Dunfermline will win both at East End Park, but then um Rafe will win the others at their ground. But I do not know what the name is. Um put in the comment section, Rafe fans, what's the name of your stadium? I know I know the name of Dunfermline's East End Park. Um, um, so yeah, the Dundee derby now, this derby is kind of, it's kind of a bit, um, Dundee, Dundee, Dundee United, the closest derby in Britain, in Britain, it's only like separated by street, um, like literally 300 yards, um, honestly, this, this derby is going to be so good this year, and, um, but yeah, and now moving on to the two main big derbies, the Edinburgh derby and the Old Firm derby. I'm going to speak about Hearts against Hibs first. Um, so yeah, this derby, of course these two teams haven't played each other since 2019-2020, Scottish Cup semi-final back in October last year. Obviously, because of Covid and that, and the 2019-2020 Scottish Cup season was like delayed for a long time. Because it was at the semi-final stage. But but it didn't play until like throughout the, still played throughout the twenty one twenty 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 throughout the whole of the rest of last whole of last season, um, but yeah I think the Hearts are just the kings of the capital. Um, oh I know in recent year I know recently Hibs have been better than Hearts because of that Hearts being in the Championship and Hibs being in the Premiership and that. But overall Hearts are the kings of the capital. But Hearts you never know you never know I think. If Hearts win all the Edinburgh derbies, Hib, I think, I think if Hearts, if both Hearts and Hibs don't make a strong start, they could be in serious trouble. Um, see, see, if Hearts make a stronger start than Hibs, then Hibs will be in under so much pressure. But I think Hibs deal with the pressure quite well, actually, and they, they, they fight and they get in Europe. And now moving on to arguably one of the best derbies of the lot, the Old Firm derby, Celtic. Against Rangers, and now I've got more depth, depth and analysis of this derby. Um, obviously, the last two meet, obviously the last few meetings between the sides, ha- all the wins have all been Rangers, and of course, um, the twenty nineteen, the late twenty nineteen old firm, um. Obviously, the one at Ibrox was scheduled to be taking place in March, um, in last March, March twenty twenty, but that got cancelled because of the because of COVID, and um, and of course, I think if Celtic would have won that, they would have won the league, I think. But I, I ain't I ain't sure, I ain't sure, I couldn't remember how did it work. Um, so yeah, and of course, the first old firm from last season in October, and um, the one at Ibrox in January. He, but but technically he's been on Rangers, but except for one draw at Celtic Park, and then the other two wins have been at Ibrox. Obviously the four one demolition in the league, and of course the tuna win in the Scottish Cup, and of course, and of course the of course Celtic's manager Angie Postecoglou is that how you say his name? Um, he's experienced this derby. He will experience this derby on the twenty ninth of August. Look, which is on a Sunday, and he'll experience that for the very first time, and you'll hear a massive roar at Ibrox that day. Hopefully, at full capacities. I think full capacity in Scotland will be around by that old firm. So, 
So Celtic fans and Rangers fans, come together, come to Ibrox, enjoy the derby, and um, and experience one of the best derbies in British football, really, and in my opinion, and. Um, and of course, Rangers are Bucky's favourites to win the league, and of course, Celtic are trying to deny that. But if I say if Rangers, I think there's more positives coming from Rangers than they are from Celtic. But in Celtic's side of you is, um, of course, obviously Rangers are in, still in Champions League, but both will happily take Europa League again. But but I think Rangers' expectations as well in for Europe is to get Champions League. Well, obviously, they are in the Champions League, but, like, I mean, like, actually co in the competition properly. So, if that makes sense. So, um... So, yeah, um... I'm going to make the predictions now for the derbies. I've already did one for the five derby. But, yeah, I think Dundee and I will win all of the Dundee derbies, um, I think. Because I think they're literally just too... I think they're sh too strong for Dundee. Um, the Edinburgh derby, I think Hearts will probably win two at Tynecastle. And Hibs will win the other two at Easter Road. Unless, but unless if they play each other in the Scottish Cup. In the Scottish Cup. In the Cup. Um, and I think Rangers will pro... I think, I'm sorry, Orange, I'm sorry all Celtic fans. But I think Rangers will win all of the old firm derbies, I think. Because I just think, for me, Rangers is just too strong. Are just too strong for Celtic. Uh, this year, I know, I know Celtic. You never, I know you never, you never know, you never know. But they Celtic can prove me wrong, but I just think Rangers for me they're just too strong in the in the derby. See you guys. Hope you guys do in the old firm. See you guys. Hope you guys do enjoy today's video. Like, subscribe, get notifications on, and and um, there will be episode five will be on Sunday the for the review. Of Motherwell versus Hibs. So yeah, hope you guys do enjoy and the Aberdeen Dundee United game as well. So yeah, guys, hope you guys do enjoy. Like, subscribe, get notifications on. You're thinking for watching and love, peace and seconds.